Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes, and the SNP are fuming. After the general election, the SNP suffered major, major losses. At the last general election, they managed to get 49 seats. Now it's down to just nine. This makes them a minor party. There's nothing they can do about it. That's the results. One of the curious, I suppose, side effects of being such a minor party is that committee places are no longer guaranteed. They are, in fact, very unlikely to be given to parties that are that small. They are desperate, however, to get at least one party member onto the Scottish Affairs um, Committee. But they're not obligated to have this. And whilst they may moan, oh, it's unfair that the SNP aren't on the Scottish uh, Committee, there are other Scottish MPs that are. Labour, for example, and the Conservatives both have members on that committee because they are the two biggest parties. There is a Liberal Democrat on there because it is the third biggest party. After that, well, it's just political minnows. The SNP, of course, are stamping their feet because it's not just the Scottish Affairs Committee that they're not on. Currently, they're not on any committees. They think that this is grossly unfair. However, given that they've only got nine seats, it seems to me it's perfectly fair indeed. After all, the committees are supposed to be made up of parties in a line with, and they're aligned with numbers in terms of ratios, with what the Parliament itself sits as. And so therefore it's obvious it's going to be mostly Labour, some Conservative and a few Lib Dems. And that, of course, takes out all the places. The SNP don't like it. But you know what they can do? Nothing. It may be the party of power in Scotland, but that counts very little in Westminster. Doesn't it make you happy? Thanks very much. Bye.